Hey guys, so I know it's been a while. What were we doing last time? Making chicken together. So I was sick the week before that and this week I've been doing nothing but getting ready to go to Costa Rica. So we're gonna be staying at a resort for like a week and I think we're gonna be staying in LA for a couple days. So of course I need some adorable things to wear. Hello, I mean, it's cold and miserable here right now in the Pacific Northwest but in LA and then in Costa Rica, it's gonna be really freaking nice. So I've gone shopping. My entire kitchen island is just full of stuff. So I'm gonna like just, I, I limited myself, I limited myself. I've been shopping like the last couple weeks, even when I was sick, I was like shopping for this trip. But I told myself, you know what? I don't wanna do like a super long haul because last time I did a super long haul, I think I told people it was going to be really quick. It ended up being like 45 minutes. People were like, oh my god, that was not a quick video, Sasha. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take you through what I bought yesterday and then a few things that like came in the mail. And yeah, so let's check it out. Now I'm going to try on some of this stuff for you because whenever I do a haul, people are like, oh my god, why isn't this a try on haul? And I'm not going to try on all this stuff because like I got a bathing suit and I got some workout clothes. I don't need to try that stuff on for you. It's really revealing. And I just don't roll like that. So I will try on the dresses for you. I think the dresses really need a try on to just get the real like effect. So I'll show them to you. And then at the end, I will try on a few of those things for you. So I like, see, I went to, went to Marshall's. I went to the Pacific Sunwear Express, Chanel, the Chanel Beauty Counter. Glass Butterfly, which is a boutique in downtown Gresham near Portland, southeast. Um, I went to Nordstrom Rack in Clackamas. I went to the Nordstrom in downtown Portland. I went to the Pink Store, whatever Victoria's Secret's Pink Store, that's where I found my swimsuit. And I got a couple items from Chanel. And oh, a pair of sunglasses from Chanel. Oh, and American Eagle Outfitters. So let's see, I went to Let's see, yesterday, well, I did some returns at Marshall's, and that's when I got Marshall's stuff, and then I went to Clackamas uh, Mall, that was yesterday, and then, like, right the day before that, I went to uh, Nordstrom in downtown, so, yeah. <laughs> let's get to it and stop talking like, you know, we got all day. All right, let's do Marshall's first, because to me, Marshall's is, like, the least exciting stuff, but it's kind of, like, just basic things. I found this cute pair of, um, what do you call these? I don't know, like, they're from Hollister though, and they are these just adorable little beachy shorts. I won't be trying these on for you because like, you know how these fit. They're like pretty much underwear, but <laughs> they're just adorable. And I thought the pattern was very cute. And look, it has this detail on the bottom that just kind of gives it a more upscale look. I've tried on so many of these shorts and some of them, the material is so cheap and the bottom hem is just not quite right but when they have a little detail like this and Hollister makes good clothes so when I saw these I was like oh these are much these are much nicer than the other ones I was looking at and I just love the paisley print so cute and beachy oh okay sorry <laughs> um I found this adorable it's by duets I don't really recognize that brand but this was such a good deal. It's $14.99. Oh, sorry. I'll tell you the prices of this stuff. I mean, this is Marshall's. You never know what you're going to get Marshall's. But um, these were $7.99. I could not believe that. And then for $14.99, I got this adorable. It's like a silky kimono. Okay. And so let's see. If I bend my camera down a little bit, can I walk away and you see it? This is going to be like a perfect little beach cover-up, you know what I mean? Throw your swimsuit on and so nobody has to like stare at your rear end as you walk down the hall on your way down to the beach. I don't like that, so I like to have like a little cover-up or something cute and like just how dramatic and old Hollywood is this? So cute. Okay. I know people are like wearing these with like jeans and stuff right now like as a top, but I didn't. Mm, this is a bathing suit cover-up. Okay. <laughs> So next, okay, this is embarrassing. I got makeup all over this, but it's very cute. I've got $9.99 by One Clothing. I got this adorable mock neck, um, short sleeve top. It's cropped. I'm not trying this on for you because look at the look at the uh, chest area. 
It's very cute on, but I just don't, you guys don't need to see, you know, my amazing cleavage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm totally kidding you guys. Um, let's see. What is this? Oh, okay. This is very cute. This is cute. Um, it's by Ginger G. I love this brand. They have the cutest stuff. Uh, Ginger G. $12.99. I got this adorable little crop top. These little sleeves go here, but so you got the little cold shoulder thing going on. But of course, you can't wear a bra with this, so that is why I'm not trying this on. <laughs> and um, it's it's cropped, but it kind of just tucks right up underneath your um, bosom area. And oh my God, how cute is this gonna look with like a really cute tiny pair of shorts? I okay, so that's oh wait a minute, I got one more thing for Marshalls. Um, I don't, when we're doing stuff like, um, at the resort, sometimes they will have, like, beach dinners or, you know, just not times when I have to, like, walk through, like, wet areas and sand, and I wanted to have a nice pair of, like, heels that are cute, and I'm not going to be wearing, like, my Louboutins or my Valentinos down near the beach area, okay? So I had to find a pair of shoes that were nice enough, but still tossable <laughs> if I totally destroy them you know, with wet sand. So I found these. They are Lucky brand. I think these were, where's the receipt? These were $29.99, I think. Yeah, $29.99 at Marshall's. I like Lucky brand stuff because a lot of times they use real leather and these are real leather. Uh, yeah. These are so cute. I'll try these on for you with my dresses later, but they're just a plain leather heel and they kind of like a chunky heel. So um, just better than a spike heel, you know, in case I actually have to walk through sand or something. Um, anyways, I just thought these were so plain and simple and just adorable. I mean, yeah, these are going to go with everything. Absolutely everything I bought and perfect for the beach. Perfect. Okay, so those right there. Next, okay, these bags I think are empty because I hung up the dresses. So I will show you the Pacific Sunwear dress I got is, okay, which one is this? The one I got at Pacific Sunwear is by Kendall and Kylie. Thank you. Kardashian girls for this one. This is so cute on you guys. Oh my god. Okay, it looks like a simple little girl dress. Here, I'll hold it back here. But it's actually a very sexy off-the-shoulder dress. I'll try this one on. So I'm going to set that. Oh, I'm going to hang it right here on my tripod. By the way, I got a new tripod, and it is amazing. Okay, so next. Okay, that was Pacific Sunwear. Oh, I better tell you how much that was. That one was $44.95, and that just came to the Pacific Sunwear, so you should be able to find that in the Kendall and Kylie section. Um, Express. Oh, I love this dress. I love this dress. Okay, at Express, I paid $41.93 for this hot little number right here, and this came in many colors, you guys. Uh, it came in a army green, black, many different uh, multicolored things, but I got this really cute, short uh, spaghetti strap dress. It kind of looks like a wrap dress, but it's not. It's faux. Um, but look at the pattern on it. Isn't that so like Costa Rica, beachy, fun resort? I will try this one on for you. So I'm going to hang that one up right there. Okay, so I went to Garage, and you know, I love Garage's clothes. Some of them, though, I feel like they're kind of overpriced for what they are. They're pretty simple, basic designs, but for some reason, the fit of those clothes are amazing. So I usually get a lot of shirts from Garage. I like the shorts from Garage. I got those adorable festival shorts from Garage, like a couple hauls ago, I think. But this time, oh no, where'd the receipt go? <sighs> okay, I'm sure this was full price, so let's just look at the tag. Yeah, $34.95. I got this cute, basic little black romper. 
Um, this is going to be perfect for, you know, when I've been sunning on the beach and then we want to go into the, uh, the buffet at the resort. Now, most people just come right off the beach and onto the buffet area uh, when you're staying at the resort, but they make you where you have to wear a cover-up or something like that. They don't let you just walk into the buffet in your swimsuit at the resorts. So you might need to have like a really nice like kimono cover-up, like that cute one, and have like a belt on it or, or a romper to throw on over your swimsuit. So this is perfect. I'll try this one on for you just so you can see probably. We'll see how gross that looks on me. <laughs> If I show it to you or whether or not. Okay, let's see. Um, next, next, next. Okay, American Eagle. I got a dress for, oh, it was on sale. It was originally $39.95, but right now, these just went on sale for $24.99. There were different colors, or there was one other color of this. It was an orange floral, but my, I got the one that was in blue. And this is this darling little off the shoulder, well it's like, it comes up here, but you can wear these little sleeves. Um, it just like goes on your arm right here. Or you can wear them up here probably, but that looks a little too dolly to me. So I just like wearing it like, like this with this around my sleeve. And I'll probably try this one on for you because it's so cute. I don't know if it's so cute on me, but it's so cute. Okay, <laughs> and then, Okay, I have one more dress. This was not at the mall. This was at um, Glass Butterfly. Um, this is a boutique that I love, absolutely love. And they had this dress on a mannequin in the window and I abs just stopped on Powell and I'm just like, oh, what is that in the window right there? I need that. So I pulled over real quick made a little beeline into Glass Butterfly, and for $38, you guys, you will not believe this dress. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is like first lady material kind of dress. I don't know if I'm gonna take this to Costa Rica with me, because it's a little too business glam. I know, but I'll try it on for you guys. I'll try it on for you. Um, I might even need to wear a wig with this dress. It's that. It's that bam, okay? It kind of might need some glam hair with it. I don't know. So, excited about that one. Hang that up there. Okay, now where are we? Okay. Um, at Nordstrom's, I found in their little sale area in um, the accessories, I found this adorable hat from, how do you, I don't know how you say this brand, Caslone, Caslone, whatever. Anyways, this hat is just so freaking cute, beachy, and all I ever buy uh, normally when I'm going to uh, the beach or a resort or something, I buy those big wide brim hats, you know, the really like super glam, like, oh my god, I'm at the beach and I have this huge hat, whatever, okay. I need something small and cute and a little more hip this time because look at these cute, adorable little dresses I have. You can't be just wearing like some ginormous two foot brimmed umbrella hat, okay? So I thought this would be a little more discreet, okay? So I got that. I think, I think this was on sale for like 20 something. I'm sorry, I took the tags off because I wanted to show it to my husband because my husband's like, oh, nice hat, you know, when he saw it. I'm like, it is a nice hat and it's very cute. He probably thought it looked like a guy's hat. That's probably why he said that. But I showed him that fedoras are totally hot on girls now, so, hmm. Okay, so at Nordstrom Rack, I went over to the workout, like, outfits, because, you know, I don't like working out at all, you guys, but if I'm gonna have to be dragged to the gym while at the resort, they usually have nice gyms, so I'm not too upset about that, but I need to be looking cute. Okay, so I found some cute. Workout clothes. Okay, so they have this brand. It's called By Zella or Zella. Is that gonna focus? Okay, yeah. So, how much was this? Okay, the bottoms were $32.97. The top was $14.97. That's amazing. Those are amazing prices. From uh, Nordstrom Rack. I'll show you the bottoms. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Look at that geometric pink and purple. I'm, I'm probably not going to try these on, but I'm telling you, uh, normally in workout pants, 
Ugh, I hate workout like yoga pants that aren't cut correctly because they can make your butt look amazing or they can make your butt look like a freaking pancake. And I'm not into like pancake butt yoga pants, but I own quite a few. So I was like thinking to myself, okay, if you're gonna buy, invest in some new workout clothes for going on our trip, you're gonna make sure they make your butt look amazing, not mm, pancake. So these, these right here, mm, yes, they are cut correctly. Something about the way this T goes in the back and the stretch of this material, they are very flattering. So if you're looking for something, you know, give you bubble butt and not pancake, you know, bakery style rear end, I would definitely recommend that brand. <laughs> okay, the top does this cute little Xy thing. So cute, but again, uh, the reason why I'm not trying this on is because I'm mm, kind of bursting out of this, but for some reason, I, I, have, I just have a problem with tops because I'm a small person, but I have a large bust area. So usually the problem is the width around is too big, but the cups are too small. So I had to buy a size smaller so that it would fit me around, but I'm kind of, I'm on the point of inappropriate at the top cup part. Okay, I'm just gonna say that, but I'll probably have a tank top on over this, something sheer, so. You'll get the effect of the matchingness, but you won't be, it won't, yeah. Let's just, let's just leave it there, okay. So. <laughs> Also by Zella, they have this adorable, adorable, okay, I'm just gonna show you the back because that's what's so cute about it. Um, this, look at the back. How cute is that? Now I'm gonna warn you about this, this top. It's, this is a workout top, but I think they meant this for underneath a, like a tank or something because it's so, the material is so thin. It's not like this material that will totally hide your mm, nipplage. Can I say that word on YouTube? I don't know. Okay, but I'm <laughs> just saying, this one, um, it's not, it's, you, you can see the girls through this one, okay? <laughs> but it is so flattering. The back is so cute, and with a tan, this color is going to just be out of this world. Okay, so, those are my new workout clothes. I'll probably bring a cute pair of black shorts to go with the pink top. And I have like this mesh tank top that'll look so cute over that pink. Oh, it'll just, it'll just kill you. All right. Um, oh, my swimsuit. My swimsuit. Okay. What is this? Oh, that was a receipt from Garage. This is the receipt from Victoria's Secret Pink Store. Okay, the bottoms were $34.95 and the top was $36.95. Now, I went into pink thinking, these suits are not gonna fit me, it's gonna be all weird, it's gonna be like trying on little girl clothes, because Victoria's Secret, as you may know, no longer carries swimsuits. I cannot believe you are doing this to me, Victoria. Like, so rude, I don't, I don't understand. So, I went over to their pink store, and I thought, fine, I'll just try on the little girl's bathing suits. And you know what? I found this size large top, and it's actually not that bad. It has it has molded cups. These aren't like I cannot wear a triangle swimsuit for the life of me. Okay, my my ladies up here do not like to. They don't just sit right here. Okay, they need guidance. So the fact that this is a molded top is perfection. Just saying because if you are bountiful on the top, you need some, some push, okay, to make it look flattering, and it, it just looks better, okay? And then the bottoms, I love, oh my god, you guys, these are so cute. These are super high-waisted. These go up, my belly button is almost covered in these, and the back is almost thong-like, okay? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying this on for you guys, I'm just saying, I, I have, this is about, this is as good as it gets, okay? So anyways, these are just so cute, open on the side with these straps, Ugh. So they did have another option for bottoms that they, they were not high rise, that were the same pattern, but I love the high rise. I think that when you have a high waisted 
a suit with a really high cut leg it, it gives you more length to the leg and I really need that because I'm very short legged <laughs> so uh, anyways and I'm long torso so the high waist kind of makes my torso look shorter and my legs look longer so very flattering suit and I was just so just blown away because I love Victoria's Secret swimsuits so much because all of their tops were actual bra sizes. Now you're not going to find that at the pink store, but uh, they still have good cuts and quality suits there. So you may, if you're, um, if you are able to wear junior sizes, you may be able to still find a suit there. So I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now where are we at? Oh, Chanel! Let's go to the Chanel store. Okay, so I went to Chanel Beauty Counter first. And uh, the boy that was working at the Chanel Beauty Counter, first of all, he had better makeup than me, and I hated when that happened. I was like, girl, he had like this chiseled contouring and his lipstick was perfect. He gave me all these like cute little samples to take on my trip with me. Now, I didn't want to like break his heart and tell him that I don't like Chanel's, like their skincare. It has so much perfume in it. It's like, I, I don't know. I'm more like a naturalist when it comes to actual skincare. And I don't like that their powdered makeup all has talc in it. Okay, so when I was a teenager, that would have been fine. In my teens and my 20s, I had that oily T-zone all up in there, girl. Okay, but now that I am like a grown woman, you know, in my maturity, uh, I am dry as a desert on my face. And so uh, anything like that has talc in it or lots of perfumes and ugh, it just irritates my skin and dries me out even more. So... He gave me all this cute stuff. I'll probably play with it anyways, even if I just put it on my feet, okay? But I got some amazing lipstick colors, and he kind of guided me away from some of the bad colors that I was looking at, and onto some good stuff, so thank you. Oh, well, I can't remember your name. Did you give me your card? Oh, he did. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like call him out on here because he picked out this beautiful color for me. I was not like thinking this was gonna look good at all, but uh, he steered me away from the red orangey colors and look at this color. Oh, Gabrielle, I'll put this on when I do my dresses. I'll put this color on so you can see what it looks like. But first I'm gonna put on the color that I bought the day before when I was at downtown. I went to that Chanel counter and I got these two. I got, uh, and I love this, this one opens like this, oh, and look at it, it has a little Chanel on the bottom. Okay, this one is called Ecstatic, and it is this gorgeous pink color. I'll put this one on now, so you can see how adorable it is. It's just like, it's like a neon pink, but it's so subtle that it's and she, I mean, not subtle, but sheer. It's sheer enough because this one is the, this is the Le Rouge Intense lip color. And all of these I feel like are not as pigmented or as dense as some of like their matte lipsticks are. So I really do like this one. And I love pink. So the other one I got was just a Coco Shine. And I, I think I got this one more because I like the name of it than anything else. But um, the Coco Shine is just a very sheer, like, if you, oh, sh how can I do this? Like, you'll see it's so sheer, there's almost no color to it at all, but there is color. This one is called Boy. Isn't that so cute? It's like, you know, the Chanel Boy bag. Well, this one's called Boy. And it's just this super, it's almost like a lavender-ish taupe color, but it's really pretty on, very subtle, and it's almost like, just putting a chapstick or a gloss on but it leaves you with a really pretty color so I got boy ecstatic and then cute boy Chanel sold me Gabrielle in red that beautiful red color so I will put Gabrielle the red color on to try on those dresses for you but first we're gonna look at what I got at the Chanel boutique okay so um sorry I unwrapped all this stuff 
So, I mean, it, of course, every one of these came with the adorable ribbons and the Chanel, like, camellia on top, and they were all like, oh, so cute, but uh, you know me, I was like, ah, gotta unwrap them, and look at them again, and put them on stuff, so, okay, so I have these two, two boxes here, all the little cute wrapping, the cute little bags. The little receipt booklet you get, you know. I just, I just love Chanel's wrapping and everything. It just makes everything feel so special. And for what you pay for this stuff, they better make you feel like. Mm. Okay, so I got a pair of Chanel sunglasses. I saw these on the website and I tried them on at Nordstrom, and, and I already knew by looking at them on the website that I would love them. I even saw them on a woman at the grocery store. That's what made me go look them up because I was just like. Ugh. I want those. So anyways, you get the beautiful leather case with the little metal Chanel symbol. Um, but these, I can't think of the name of them. I think on the website they were calling them like the Chanel butterflies or something. These are like one of their classics, okay? So these sh come in all different colors and, and metal combinations. So this one is the tortoiseshell with the light gold on the side, but look, it says Chanel on the side. And that's what made me notice them when I saw them on the woman in the grocery store. She was in the checkout section. And yes, she actually had them on. Like, okay, I'm not a big enough diva to go into a grocery store and go through the checkout line in a pair of sunglasses, but girl, she was. She had her little like Chanel walk on and she had these sunglasses on. And I'm just like, ah! Why don't I have my Chanel bag on right now? I'm like, oh, because I'm at the grocery store, duh. So anyway, she was wearing these, and so that's when I saw them, and I was like, oh, I need those. So these are, I'm not gonna say they're reasonably priced, but for Chanel, they are. Uh, I can't remember. I don't think these are on that receipt. I, I think, th no, these came in the mail, so I, you can actually buy these direct from Chanel, Whereas boutique items you cannot, but you can buy Chanel Beauty and Chanel sunglasses online. So these, I'll have to look online. I'll, I'll put them down in the description box because I can't remember. I want to say they were like under 500. I can't, I can't remember. Okay, so these, I have, to, I have to remember to put those on there. Okay, so my boutique items that I got, oh my God, you guys. So, you know, I have Chanel earrings. I have a Chanel necklace with the large CCs. Um, now, the brooches from Chanel are so hot, especially the big ones. Girls are putting them on blazers, they're putting them on jackets, they're putting them on hats, they're putting them on headbands. Um, they're just like, they're like the f fashion it girl thing. Okay, you kind of just, anyway. So I've been looking at brooches and my Chanel boutique is so limited. One day they'll have like 15 brooches on, on, in their uh, case. And then the, yesterday when I went in, they had absolutely almost nothing. It was sold out almost completely. They had literally three pairs of earrings left. I'm just like, oh my God. So I waited and I waited and I finally found a couple perfect pieces for me. So, this one, I don't know if I've ever showed you my necklace, but this brooch matches my necklace exactly. So this is the brooch version of the necklace that I, of the necklace that I have. Um, I don't know what this one is called, but it's got the gold quilting on one side, and then it's got the square, like, Swarovski. Okay, I will never, in the, for my entire life, be able to say Swarov, Swarovski, Chris Gritz, it's like the worst tongue twister ever, okay? So you know what kind of crystals I'm talking about, but they're square. So anyways, I got this one. And it comes in this cute little, you know, the pouches that Chanel puts all their stuff in. It's absolutely adorable, and they come in little boxes. So that's the first brooch I got. Um, can't remember the price on this one. Okay, so I'll try to list these. I'm not going to be able to... Hmm, find these online. I won't because I don't think they're on Chanel's site, especially this one because this one is not, well, maybe it is current. 
on the site. I don't know. It's so hard when you're shopping for Chanel. Since you cannot buy the boutique items online, it's almost like a treasure hunt. They make limited quantities of things, and once it's gone, it's gone. Okay, so, oh, this is the one that I've been dreaming of. Okay, so this one, it is light gold around the edges. It has the black background and the inset pearls in it. I'm just like, I'm still drooling over this one, you guys. Okay, so I think this one is a little bit more casual. This one, I could even like, look. Can you imagine wearing this on this hat with my Chanel sunglasses, sipping on, you know, one of my little beach drinks? I just, I can't, I can't even. So anyways, those were my two Chanel purchases. I know my husband likes still making references to them. He's like, oh, guess what I bought today and it still didn't cost as much as your Chanel brooches. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so, um, let's see, was that it? That's it, okay, so now let's get to the try on. Okay, this is gonna be tough, you guys, because I can't tell like what you're seeing when I'm all the way over there, but I'm pretty sure like you'll be able to see the whole dress and maybe my shoes. And I just realized I had skinny jeans on a little bit a while ago, and I you can see the seams like going up the side of my leg, you know? You know that horrible like look. So it's not like I have horrible stitches going up the side of my leg or some weird kind of cellulite. It's just that, you know, I was like squished into a pair of skinny jeans a minute ago. Okay, so here we go. This is the dress from American Eagle Outfitters. Uh, okay, I'm, this probably would be a lot cuter on somebody who had like a smaller chest than me because it'd just be like, oh, so cute and girly looking. But anyways, just, I have to work with what I have, okay? So anyways, this dress with these adorable little shoes. Okay, so cute. Look at that, the sleeves hang here. Or you could wear these up here, but like I said, this looks a little too, I'm a little too mature for this look, I think. I think I need to do it this way, right? Right, and this uh, has pockets in it, I believe. Yes, there's some pockets, so you know if you want to put your like room key in your, in your pocket or you know your pair of sunglasses or something when you're going your way down to the, the beach, uh, you could totally do that. All right, next dress. Did I mention that I'm wearing Gabrielle now? by Chanel. This is the Chanel lipstick that I got. Gabrielle. Gabrielle. I think it's number 444 if you want to get technical. Now I put on the romper that I got from Garage. They have this in some adorable floral patterns, but I decided to do it in just straight up black because I thought, ah, oh, roundabout black is simple. I have lots of black accessories that I could throw on with this. And just how cute would that be with this hat? and that black Chanel brooch. Oh my God, you guys. So anyways, um, I'll show you the back. Um, it's just a romper. So remember these are shorts underneath this and this looks adorable with these shoes too, right? So cute. Um, exactly, no bra with any of these dresses. Obviously I couldn't even wear like a strapless bra with this because of, um, the way it's cut. You can really see a lot from the sides and the back goes down so far. So remember to bring lots of nipple covers on this trip, Sasha. <laughs> okay. All right, next dress. Okay, you guys, this is a personal favorite. This is the one from Express. This is the one with the beautiful beachy design. Now it has this lovely ruffle around the top, which is so feminine and adds so much to this dress. But look, uh, it goes down a little further in the back, so it covers up, you know, any weird little wrinkles you have on your legs, okay? <laughs> and it's a little shorter in the front, which I think is absolutely just so prissy, cute, feminine, and look at this. This is a total dancing dress for anybody who, you know, plans on going to, you know, go down to more of the nightlife things, the parties and the dances you need to have a dress like this. I mean, it is just absolutely adorable. I also think that I could totally wear this to like, I don't know, maybe like a summer wedding or something like that. But the next dress I'm gonna try on is also perfect for that. So let's check that one out. Okay, you guys, this one is the Kendall and Kylie, the one I got from Pacific Sunwear. You guys are gonna love this. Oh my goodness. So feminine and romantic, you guys. Look at this. This is another good, 
really shimmy dress, perfect for dancing, going to the beach. It's light, but it's also lined. It has, the lining's not there, the lining is down here. The lining is down here and the skirt, see, so you don't feel like you have something like really ex explosive <laughs> on. Uh, that's not a word, you guys, that's not a word. Um, but you just, it, you have lots of good um, hold in this, even though this is not one. You could wear a strapless bra with this, I think, but because it has this, um, this gathered material in the front like this, I know there's a word for this, why can't I think of it? It's almost like, uh, it's not seersucker. What is it? Ah, I can't think, it's very gypsy boho looking though on the top with this cinched look, but it really holds you so well. I wouldn't recommend wearing a bra with this, really. Um, but, oh, I love it. It's just so feminine and beautiful. Okay, next dress. Okay, now you guys, this last dress does not go with these shoes at all. This dress calls for a pair of, you know, Valentinos or Louboutins, maybe a pair of those gorgeous Gucci shoes, you know, the really strappy ones in the front with the chunky... Anyways, okay, so this dress is the one I got at the boutique Glass Butterfly, and probably not gonna take this on my trip, but I did buy it in um, the last week, so it does go into this haul. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you this. Uh, again, ignore the shoes, okay? Very form-fitting, very business-like looking, kind of like a mock neck with a cutout, and just look at the silhouette this creates. It is simply amazing, and for this price, uh, you're not going to find a dress cut quite this beautifully for this price. Oh, did I show you uh, the name of this dress is by Mai Tai. I'll see if I can't find it online, but we'll see, we'll see. Oh, and this was the dress I thought would look better with a wig. Don't you think? You know, like my really long, uh, curly, I don't know. So see, if I wear a wig with this, it'll cover up a lot of the collar and you won't get that amazing detail. I don't know, we'll have to play with it. We'll play with it and see. I might actually take this with me on the trip because the color is just so fun and flirty and summery, it might just actually work for a, um, one of the formal dinners we'll probably get invited to. So I might take it along, I might. I think it will probably be a good one to take because of the material that this is made of, it won't wrinkle really badly in my uh, in my suitcase. So that could be a plus. Anyways, thank you for hanging out with me on my haul, and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all of those ridiculous. Uh, oh my God, I'm eating hair. I'm eating hair, you guys. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. I know it was long, but wasn't it worth it? It was so much fun. I'll see you guys.